to talk about whether we should use foot stretches or point stretches to improve your point range. This is something I do get asked a lot. We've had a post up on the ballet blog, but a few people have been asking for a video to explain a little bit more about what I mean. So the important thing to remember is that your point range comes from a lot of different places. So if we actually take a look at the foot, there are so many moving parts and all of these could influence your point range. It can actually start up at your superior tib fib joint, which is right up by your knee, which is the top joint between these two bones of your lower leg. Then we've got this joint down here, which is your inferior tib fib joint. And this for some people is very stuck. Some people it's a little shifted forward, some it's a little shifted back. If there's anything wrong further up here, this can influence how easily you can rise and how deep you can plie it. Then as we come through, we've got the joint between your tibia and your talus. So this is the one we use when we plie and when we rise, it's important that it actually slides forward. If there's something going on in there, we need to make sure that's cleared before pushing into any range. A sneaky little one that a lot of people don't think about is this little joint under here between your talus and your calcaneus, your heel bone. This is the bone that adjusts when we're standing on uneven surfaces and it allows you to have a lot more control of the foot. For some people, this is quite stuck and it's that that's limiting their foot from going into a beautifully pointed position. Then we come down to the midfoot. You've got all of these amazing little bones in here. Now these are designed to rotate and move. The foot's designed to pronate and supinate. If you have a restriction through here, this can limit that middle part of your arch. So some people, when they point, it's very flat through the center. Then we have down to your toes, so you have your mobility, but also your strength and your ability to use those small little intrinsic foot muscles to actually shape your arch. So how do we improve our point range? Well, what tends to happen if you put the foot in any kind of stretching device? It pushes this way. What usually happens is it stretches the thing that's already mobile rather than specifically addressing the thing that's not. So it's really not such a safe way of improving, area, improving mobility in the areas that are actually stiff. So what I like to do instead is assess the foot, determine exactly where that restriction is, and then give a very specific either treatment or self mobilizer or home exercise that you can do that really addresses that. One that we do is the 3D calf mobilizer. And the way this works is by instead of just going into a straight stretch, we actually rotate in and rotate out and rotate in and rotate out in order to mobilize the middle part of the foot and the heel bone. And we can include the link to the full exercise. It's just really nice to see those bones moving around. That can then allow the foot to open out into a much nicer point range without any compression. The other thing that you want to be very careful of if you are using foot stretcher is that it's not compressing the tissues at the back of the ankle. This is something that each version of it I have tried. Most of the staff in the clinic have found compression at the back of the ankle, which then can take some time to settle. The other thing is that most of the time we see people have far more point range than they're actually using. So a good test for you to do is to stand in first, rise onto demi point and get somebody to take a little video or a photo of you there. Then come back down, then just press one foot up onto a high demi point and then try the other and see how that feels. And you'll often find you have much more range when you're just pressing one foot up than when you're doing a rise with two feet. So I very much encourage people to learn how to use all of the mobility that you have. And if you are working on improving your range in any way, please don't use a foot stretcher. Please see if you can find somebody to help work with you to determine where you are restricted and safe and effective ways that you can rapidly improve your point range.